Every minute, the world loses 23 hectares of fertile land to desertification. That's equivalent to 32 football fields disappearing into barren wasteland every single minute. Right now, as you watch this video, another patch of productive soil has turned to dust. This isn't science fiction. This is happening across our planet today. From the expanding Sahara Desert, swallowing villages in Niger, to the Gobi Desert creeping toward Beijing, desertification threatens the livelihoods of over 1 billion people worldwide. The United Nations estimates that 12 million hectares of productive land are lost annually, enough to feed 20 million people. But here's what might surprise you. Scientists and engineers around the world are fighting back with revolutionary technologies that could literally turn deserts green again. From massive solar-powered atmospheric water generators in the Middle East to drone armies planting millions of trees across Africa, the battle to reclaim our planet's lost fertility has begun. The question isn't whether we can reverse desertification. Early projects are already proving it's possible. The real question is whether we can scale these solutions fast enough to save the two billion people living in drylands before it's too late. The clock is ticking, but hope is growing in the most unexpected places. Desertification isn't just about sand dunes advancing like slow-motion tsunamis. It's a complex process where productive land gradually loses its ability to support life. Climate change accelerates this process, but human activities are often the primary culprit. Overgrazing by livestock strips away protective vegetation, leaving soil vulnerable to wind and water erosion. In Mongolia, herders have increased their livestock by 400% since 1990, contributing to the Gobi Desert's expansion toward China at a rate of 3,400 square kilometers annually. Deforestation compounds the problem. The Amazon rainforest, often called Earth's lungs, has lost 17% of its original area. When trees disappear, rainfall patterns change, creating feedback loops that push regions toward desertification. Poor irrigation practices also play a devastating role. The Aral Sea, once the world's fourth largest lake, has shrunk by 90% due to unsustainable cotton farming in Central Asia. What remains is a toxic salt desert that generates dust storms affecting millions. Agricultural practices matter too. Monoculture farming depletes soil nutrients while excessive use of chemical fertilizers destroys beneficial microorganisms. In Sub-Saharan Africa, Soil degradation affects 65% of agricultural land, threatening food security for over 200 million people. Understanding these causes is crucial because successful regreening requires addressing root problems, not just symptoms. Before exploring high-tech solutions, let's examine how nature fights desertification. Some of the most promising regreening strategies simply amplify natural processes that have evolved over millions of years. The lowest plateau in China demonstrates nature's resilience. Once fertile, this region became severely degraded through centuries of deforestation and overgrazing. However, a massive restoration project beginning in 1994 has transformed 6 million hectares of barren land back into productive landscape. The secret? Working with natural water cycles and native plant species. Mycorrhizal fungi represent another natural ally. These microscopic organisms form symbiotic relationships with plant roots, extending their reach for water and nutrients by up to 700%. In degraded soils, inoculating seeds with these fungi dramatically improves survival rates. Keystone species can trigger cascading restoration effects. In Yellowstone National Park, reintroducing wolves changed grazing patterns, allowing forests to regenerate and streams to stabilize. Similarly, in Africa, large herbivores like elephants create water holes and disperse seeds across vast distances. Soil crusts composed of bacteria, fungi and algae naturally stabilize desert surfaces and create microclimates for plant establishment. Scientists are now cultivating these biological crusts in laboratories and applying them to degraded areas. 
essentially giving nature a head start in the restoration process. These natural solutions provide blueprints for larger scale interventions. Cutting edge technology is revolutionizing desert restoration at unprecedented scales. Solar powered atmospheric water generators now extract thousands of liters of pure water daily from desert air, even in areas with humidity as low as 20%. These machines, deployed across the Middle East and North Africa, provide irrigation for reforestation projects in previously impossible locations. Drone technology has transformed reforestation efficiency. A single drone can plant 1,000 seeds per day compared to just 150 for human planters. Companies like Biocarbon Engineering use drones equipped with seed pods containing nutrients and protective coatings, achieving germination rates of 60 to 70% in challenging environments. Hydrogel technology represents another breakthrough. These super absorbent polymers can hold up to 400 times their weight in water, slowly releasing moisture to plant roots over months. When mixed with seeds, hydrogels dramatically improve survival rates in arid conditions. Satellite monitoring and artificial intelligence enable precise intervention strategies Machine learning algorithms analyze satellite imagery to identify degradation patterns and predict optimal planting locations. This technology helped identify over 1 billion hectares suitable for forest restoration worldwide. Bioengineered plants offer additional possibilities. Scientists have developed drought resistant crops that maintain productivity with 50% less water. Some genetically modified trees grow three times faster than natural varieties while requiring minimal irrigation. These technologies are moving from experimental phases to large-scale deployment across multiple continents. Real-world success stories prove that desert regreening isn't just theoretical. The Great Green Wall of Africa spanning 8,000 kilometers across 11 countries, aims to restore 100 million hectares of degraded land by 2030. Already, 15 million hectares have been restored, creating jobs for millions while sequestering carbon. Israel transformed itself from a largely desert nation to an agricultural powerhouse through innovative water management and desert agriculture techniques. Drip irrigation, developed in Israel, now conserves water worldwide while maintaining crop yields. The country produces 70% more food today than in 1967, despite population tripling. China's Kabuki Desert Restoration Project has transformed 6,000 square kilometers of desert into productive land over 30 years. The project combines solar energy, sustainable agriculture, and ecotourism, generating over $5 billion in revenue while employing over 100,000 people. In Jordan, the Sahara Forest Project demonstrates how combining technologies create synergistic effects. Solar panels provide energy for seawater desalination, which irrigates forests and creates humid microclimates that support additional vegetation. This integrated approach has restored hundreds of hectares while generating renewable energy. Australia's Gondwana Link project connects fragmented ecosystems across 1,000 kilometers, creating wildlife corridors that support natural regeneration. Native vegetation coverage has increased by 40% in participating areas, demonstrating how landscape scale thinking amplifies restoration success. These projects prove that with proper planning and investment, desert regreening is achievable at meaningful scales. Desert regreening generates substantial economic returns while addressing social challenges. The Economics of Land Degradation Initiative estimates that every dollar invested in land restoration generates between three and seven dollars in economic benefits through increased agricultural productivity, job creation, and ecosystem services. Employment opportunities multiply rapidly in restoration areas. The Great Green Wall Project has created over 350,000 jobs across participating countries. In China's Kabuki Desert, 
Restoration activities employ over 100,000 people directly, with thousands more in supporting industries like ecotourism and sustainable agriculture. Carbon sequestration represents a growing revenue stream. Restored forests and grasslands can sequester between 2 and 8 tons of carbon per hectare annually. With carbon credits trading between $10 and $50 per ton, reforestation projects generate significant income while fighting climate change. Food security improves dramatically in restored areas. In Niger, farmer-managed natural regeneration has restored 5 million hectares, increasing crop yields by 100,000 tons annually. This additional production feeds 2.5 million people while reducing rural poverty. Women particularly benefit from restoration projects. In many developing countries, women manage household water supplies and food production. Restored landscapes reduce the time spent collecting water and fuel wood, allowing women to pursue education and income-generating activities. Tourism also flourishes in restored areas, creating sustainable revenue streams that incentivize continued conservation efforts. The technology and knowledge to regreen desserts exist today, but scaling these solutions requires unprecedented global cooperation and investment. The United Nations estimates that $300 billion annually could restore 1 billion hectares of degraded land by 2030, creating millions of jobs while sequestering massive amounts of carbon. Governments must prioritize long-term restoration over short-term economic gains. Successful projects require sustained funding over decades, not just initial investment. Policy frameworks should incentivize restoration through carbon pricing, payment for ecosystem services, and sustainable land management practices. International cooperation is essential. Desertification crosses borders, and solutions must be coordinated regionally. The Great Green Wall demonstrates how multiple countries can work together effectively when they share common goals and resources. Private sector engagement is accelerating through impact investing and corporate sustainability commitments. Companies are increasingly recognizing that environmental restoration creates business opportunities while fulfilling social responsibility goals. Education and community involvement ensure project sustainability. Local communities must be partners, not just beneficiaries, in restoration efforts. Traditional ecological knowledge combined with modern technology creates the most effective solutions. The next decade is critical. Climate change is accelerating desertification, but restoration technologies are also advancing rapidly. Success depends on political will, adequate funding, and coordinated global action. The fight to save fertile land has begun, and we can win it. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the remarkable world of desert restoration. The fight to re-green our planet is one of the most important challenges of our time. But as we've seen, solutions exist and success stories are multiplying around the globe. If this video opened your eyes to the possibilities of turning deserts green again, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth documentaries about environmental innovation and hope. Your support helps us continue bringing you stories of human ingenuity and natural resilience that prove we can build a more sustainable future. Share this video with friends and family. Spreading awareness about desert restoration is the first step towards supporting these crucial projects. Together, we can help turn the tide against desertification and create a greener, more fertile world for future generations.